Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting Rover project. Um, I thought I'd give you an update um, at the moment. I haven't started it up, oh, I think it was three weeks ago was the last time I started up when the last time I'd done the, the last video. Uh, I have to excuse my way of speaking at the moment. Um, it's quite cold out here at the moment. Um, so. I thought I'd better start her up, let her run for a little bit. There ain't much petrol in there, because if you remember, it ran out last time. So I thought I'd give it a quick start up, what petrol is left in there. And for the last couple of days, we've had nothing but bad frosts in the morning. And I want to drain that radiator, get the water out, because there is no antifreeze in there. So I think it would be a good idea to drain that before I forget altogether and uh, damage the engine. So let's see if she start up. I've just pumped some petrol through to the carb. Oh god! Let's see if she start. There's always a thing about these old rovers when you get in them when they got leather and everything. They always you can always smell it. it smells absolutely lovely. Oh come on, Key. Right, give it a bit of a jokey joker. I've got to get around doing that starter motor as well. It was nice yesterday, I could have done that. Oh, he's being really stubborn today. Oh yeah, being really stubborn, aren't you? Bit cammy first of all, because the oil got to get up there. That's not bad because that hasn't been started up. I think it's like three weeks ago was the last time I started it up. And I ain't even throttled it. All I've done is just pulled the choke out and it started up. I pumped the fuel up by hand. That battery I want disconnecting because it's sounding like it's going a little bit on the dead side. I mean, the only thing I'd done this morning was take the Jag for a spin, just check on those brakes and everything what I'd done, and the knocking on the Jag is gone, the anti-brake warning light is now out altogether, but whether or not it stay out is another thing. It's got a tendency after a day or so to come back on. But, uh, I'll let it run for a little bit. I don't know how long it'll run for actually because there ain't a lot of petrol in here. I don't keep a lot in here because at the moment we've had a lot of um, shitheads around here acting like a bunch of dickheads. Um, we heard a lot of noise last night and I came out the front to see what was going on. And there was a bunch of kids and they were putting a uh, firework in a recycling bin to set light to it and I caught him at it and uh, I told him what for and he'd done a runner with all these little cronies but they weren't exactly all little kids I mean there was probably about two of them that were around about 15 and the others were about 18 so I mean it just shows how stupid you are how stupid they are by putting fireworks in people's recycling bins I mean I got four dogs and I got two dogs that don't give a toss about fireworks and I got two what do um, it's just a pain in the ass, it really is. Anyway, it's enough about fireworks. Anyway, as you can see, she started up reasonably quite well. Um, I will let it run for a little bit. I don't matter if it runs out of petrol. Ooh. She's running all okay anyway. I need to, like I said, drain this uh, water out this uh, radiator. But yeah, everything's uh, all hunky dory on it at the moment. Oh, just let it run for a bit. It is cold out here, I tell you. I'll get back in the car. Oh, 
storm rain urinate is out there. Oh. oh. Anyway, like I said, um, she's all starting up reasonably quite well, actually, with no um, e cups apart from that starter motor, which I'm going to get around to stripping that off one of the days. Um, I mean, I shouldn't even be out here today, really. I mean, I got um, wired up at the moment to a. Um, uh, oh, God, what do they call it? Oh, my God. Bloody mine's gone. Um, it's to do me blood pressure and stuff like that. I check on my blood pressure, so I'm all plumbed up on that. So I got it. I don't know if you can see it, it's all it's bloody pipes and everything coming out of me. Um, so it's all wrapped up around my arm to check on the uh, blood pressure because it's been a bit too high at the moment. Um, so I shouldn't be out here really. But it's being stuck indoors on your own with nobody to talk to, apart from four dogs which drive you up the wall. Um, I thought I'm a bit bored, so I thought I'll come out here, start her up, and drain that radiator. Because, like I said, it's been a bit frosty for the last couple of mornings. And if I forget it altogether, I don't want the engine to uh, ice up and crack or anything. So I've already had that a long time ago with a Ford Zodiac. I was doing work on a Ford Zodiac, forgot to take the uh, water out the radiator and drain the engine block and uh, well all the core plugs popped out of it over the winter so one good anyway as you can see that choke is nearly nearly in if I push it right in it shouldn't even warmed up not yet and uh, she's running a little lumpy now but she she rev up, no cough or spluttering, but she's just running a little bit lumpy. The other noises you can hear, like the rattles and everything, that's this, and the door's rattling a bit because the door's only on the jar. Uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with this actually because uh, she's been running really well at the moment. She's come a long way in the time I've had it. I mean, when I first got the car, I mean, if you read, uh, seen the previous videos, she was uh, in a terrible state. So she has come a long way. Um, And she goes in gear all okay. You can hear the engine die down a bit then. But like I said, she's still not even warmed up properly yet. Neutral. Drive. Make sure she is in, definitely in park. I did that one day. I thought she was in park and she wasn't in park properly, she was in reverse. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's uh, get that radiator drained. I might even film it whilst I'm draining it. Use that the battery power on the camera, I suppose. Um, give you something to watch. It is bloody cold out here, though, that's the thing. But I'm going to get on with it anyway. Right, so I'm going to stop it there for a second and I'll come back to you in a short while. Hello again, and we're back. Right. Drain him, see if I can get down there with a screwdriver and undo him. It should be all undo quite easy really because it's all brand new. So it'd be a nice bit of warm water instead of nice freezing cold water. The engine's been running. Oh, it's leaking out of there nicely. and put the camera down for a minute.
down my throat shut. Oh yeah. Spraying out are lovely. So it pressurized up lovely. Shame I gotta drain it. But there is no antifreeze in here at all. It's absolutely spraying everywhere. in that one. Nothing in that one. There we go. Now we took the cap off. There we go. quite clean it's not that rusty or dirty or anything so well, I'll leave it all uh, all disconnected for now until I find time to get some antifreeze for it so I was talking to uh, quite a few people and people have said put the proper proper antifreeze in it not the um, stuff you can buy today like the uh, all rain weather summer summer coolant because apparently it can uh, damage these old engines or something <clears throat> but I'll look into that um, so I'll probably have to do the jag as well I know there's antifreeze in it but it's a bit on the weak side so I probably need well they need definitely changing anyway so that's that done It'd have been nice if I could have uh, got more of the water out, really, because I suspect there's still loads in that, in that engine. Uh, I'll give it a few days and I'll try and get some antifreeze, but it's just that it's been really bad frost in the morning at the moment lately. And uh, everything's been... Uh, oh, let's put you nice and straight. It's been freezing up, and I don't want to make any mistakes, and naff the engine up. Anyway, there we go. I'll come back to you in a short while. Yes, hello everybody. Welcome back. Right, um, I'm going to lock her up now. I've drained the radiator. <sighs> Sorry for the, the quick switch off, but our neighbour came up and we were chatting about what happened last night. Um, yeah, so there's still some stuff to do on this car. I mean, like, i got to sort the boot out for one. Find a new home for all these bits and pieces. So that'll fill one of the sheds up again. And uh, get around to giving it all a good clean. And still got to get those tyres changed over. We can, I can get that done some point at the time, I don't know when, but I'll look into getting it done. And I just had the Rover 75 started up for a little while as well, charged the battery up, there's been a couple of weeks I haven't started that one up. Like I said, the Jagger went out for a ride in today, um, and Jag's got all new ball joints on the front on one side. Uh, disc brakes all around, well all the front has been done, new discs new pads and stops and there's stops fine there's no clunking from that driver side suspension anymore so it was obviously the ball joint shot on that and the same with the Rover P6 it turned out to be the ball joint on the passenger side on that one top ball joint so I ain't having much luck with ball joints lately there seems to be a lot of problem with cars at the moment with ball joints yes it's like my Rover 800 when I bought that years ago the guy said there was a clunking coming from the front and uh, I had to buy all the, well I bought everything, I bought everything brand new, 
top bottom ball joints and everything was replaced on the Rover 800 both sides all the front end was redone track rod ends everything um, yeah so that's that but I'm gonna probably end up selling the Rover 800 anyway because I haven't used it for a while I've had a new fuel pump I put in there brand new fuel pump not second hand crap so it's a brand new one put in, so I'll probably sell the Raver 800. Um, the Raver P6. It was There has been a couple of times when I thought, shall I sell it or shall I keep it? Um, and the truth is, I do like the car so much. I mean, it does no harm sitting around out here. I mean, it's MOT exempt, tax exempt. It only costs me less than 100 quid to insure a year. So, I mean, not being funny, it's been sat there for nearly a year now. Well, it has been sat there for a year. Because it was this time last year I bought the car. So a year now, it's been sat in the same spot. And only been driven round that, round the block. It hasn't been actually been out on the main road. So, right, I'm off in, because I've got to wash my hands. And, um, meant to be taking things easy. This little, um machine I got strapped to me is buzzing away all the time every half hour check my uh, um, blood um, and pulse and shit like that all the usual crap they give you so I had to pick that up first thing this morning then I went to the shops with the Jag to try the Jag out to make sure everything was all alright with that Rover 75 uh, hasn't been used since I took my son back to camp, so that's been stuck there now, oh, I don't know, two, three weeks maybe, but that was the first time I've started it up, in about three weeks maybe, I can't remember, but she started up alright, the battery was a little bit on the low side, because uh, what drains the battery is the immobiliser and stuff like that, and the alarm, it all drains the batteries, but the Rover P6, the battery was a little bit on the skew iffy side but it managed to get it started up but it's still it's this weather it just takes all the juice out of the batteries it just kills everything off quick so I must get this Rover 800 actually uh, fired up one of the days as well and let it run for a, at least a good half hour to an hour letting it run anyway I'm off in now anyway and I've been rabbiting on for quite a while but I will share more videos with you with the Jag being done and the Rover P6 because there's still some more work to do on the Rover P6 open to get underneath and get that starter motor off I could have done it yesterday because it was a nice day yesterday but it was just cold I don't mind the cold so much as long as you can wrap up warm it's the rain I can't stand when it's raining it does your head in anyway I just want to say um, there is another chap now which has got a Rover P6 and he's doing videos on YouTube. Uh, it's Classic Car Lockup, I think it's called. He used to do a Minis, but now he's just bought, and bought himself a Rover P6. And he's doing the roof on it at the moment, welding up uh, around the edges of the roof for the drainage and stuff like that. Um, check him out, he's put two videos on. You might have already seen them anyway. But uh, he's just started off doing a Rover P6 up, so as well as me, uh, Classic Britain, and this other chap now. So that's three of us what are mucking around with Rover P6s, which is good. Need to see more if we could be on the, on the YouTube sites, because everything's like so old now. It's like two, three, four years ago now that somebody's put some on. Uh, so it's nice to see uh, Classic Britain still putting his videos on. Just look forward to seeing them again uh, and I had a chance to watch the f any of them at the moment the ones he's put on at the moment but I'll get around to watching them so don't worry uh, and like I said this, this other guy just came across him by accident and um, he's doing up a Raver P6 he's got it completely stripped right down so it's I can't think of its name properly but it's classic car lockup I think it is and he's just started doing uh, the roof on one but um, check him out, and you know, because uh, we need we need all the help we can get, really. Because it's the biggest part of all on the sites really is everybody's doing forwards all the time, and so all you see is forwards, forwards. 
you don't see much in the way of old rovers or jags or anything like that being restored or anything like that really it's, it's always fords so if it's not ford cortina it's a ford capri if it's not ford capri it's a ford escort if it's not an escort it's a fiesta that's all you see i know fords are good i mean i've had loads of fords but let's see something different for a change I mean, these cars are getting hard to find now. They're getting getting a lot harder now. Rovers and SD ones and old XJ Series one, Series two, and Series three Jags. And all that's getting hard to find. And there's not anybody sticking anything on really. It's most people are sticking things on. It's mostly Americans. I ain't got nothing against the Americans. It's just that when they put stuff on, their cars have been modified a bit more different to the to the British standard car. I mean, they got stupid lights and stupid bumpers the car has been totally ruined I mean it's like the Ford Capri the Ford Capri was sold over here it was sold in America but the Americans got hold of it and they had to put ghastly horrible bumpers on it so I know it's not everybody's cup of tea but anyway I'm rabbiting on so hopefully I'll get like so I'll get some more videos going in maybe a couple of weeks time uh, maybe it might even be an hour and after Christmas in January sometime now. It's whenever I can find the time and and whatever um, my son is up to as well. Because he's working now and he's working stupid hours like different out with different times of the day so it's our job to get him to hold the camera or crack on and get him to do a bit of work on the car as well. Because at the moment he's pestering for a motorbike. So I suppose I'll have to go and get my motorbike now I suppose. Anyway all the best to everybody and a big thank you to everybody who subscribed because it's uh i think i'm up to uh, i think it's 124 subscribers at the moment so it's it's a big leap so f thank you very much to everybody who subscribed and all the comments um you're more than welcome to comment on anything really apart from the jaguar sticker i know the jaguar sticker got to come off the side please don't keep pestering me about that I know it's got to come off. I'll do that one next year when I go to respray the car, so that's why I'm not worried about taking it off. But in the meantime, if anybody wants to comment on the Rover, or even the Rover 75, or the Jag, or Lada, or the Rover 800, you're more than welcome to comment, and um, we can have a, a small you know, chat on the internet about it and stuff like that. Anyway. I'm rabbiting on. I'm st I keep saying that I'm rabbiting on, but I am rabbiting on. I should be in sitting down, listening to this bloody machine strapped to my side, buzzing away. Sounds like I've got air compressors stuck to the side of me. Anyway, all the best to everybody. Thank you very much for subscribing. And look forward to any more comments and stuff like that. So bye bye for now.